Hello everyone and welcome to Sound Weeks Week 3 where our theme this week is the sea and everything to do with water. So we've got some classical pieces, some sea shanties and music from films and from TV. I'm sure there's going to be something that you know and it's going to be great. But first of all, we've got to start off with our hello song. So as always, you can join in if you like, join in with the actions and the words, or you can just sit back and uh, wait for the music to start. It's entirely up to you. So first of all, we'll start um, with our beat. So you can clap or you can click your fingers if you can do that. Or you can tap your knees or stamp your feet or a combination of any of those things. What am I going to do today? I'm going to... I'll clap my hands, I think. Might change halfway through. Hello, hello. Can you touch your nose? Hello, hello. Can you reach down to your toes? Can you reach really high up in the sky? Can you reach really low? Hello, hello. Can you reach to the side? I'm going this side curve today, across my body. Can you make yourself wide? Can you reach really low? Hello, hello. Can you make a sound? Can you shake around? Shake your body out. Oh, those legs, the arms up in the sky. Oh. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. So our first piece of music today is called The Mermaid and it's a traditional tune but it's been arranged by John Whitworth and it's a really really fun piece and now and then in the middle of the tune you might hear a very very famous British song that uh, may be familiar to you if you listen to The Last Night of the Proms or if you ever listen to Radio 3 you'll recognise this tune and it just sort of pops up out of nowhere. And if you recognise it, email in and let us know. Thank you. 
this next song needs almost no introduction. It's five years old now, but it um, is still a firm favourite in our household. This is How Far I'll Go from the film Moana. Coming up now is an absolutely beautiful piece of music by John Ireland called Sea Fever. And it's originally a song, but uh, Emma and I are going to play it today on the piano and clarinet, but it's still got a most beautiful melody. And the words in the song talk about this old sea dog, this old sailor who's given up sailing, he's retired, but he longs to go back to the sea and be on a ship because that's where he belongs. And it's an absolutely beautiful piece. This is Sea Fever by John Ireland.
This next piece is a lot of fun. It's called The Stowaway by Stanley Wilson. And it's been arranged for clarinet quartet. And it's about somebody who's crept aboard a ship and is hiding and trying not to get caught. So as you can imagine, it's pretty quiet. It's in a minor key, so it's a little bit creepy. And there's lots of short staccato notes. So you can imagine this person on the boat tiptoeing around trying not to get caught and see at the end if you think he does or not or whether he gets away with it. Now, sea shanties have been particularly popular in the last few months or so. Uh, Nathan Evans, the Scottish postman, made uh, sea shanties really, really famous over the past year. He's uploaded loads online and um, you probably know they've been re-recorded by loads of people. They've been made into dance tracks. Um, so um, you've done really well if you actually haven't heard any of these sea shanties on the radio this year. But in honour of this, anyway, um, Emma and I are going to do a quick little rendition of an English sea shanty called Jack's the Lad. Now, following on from that lively sea shanty, we've got a piece by Charles Dibden, which was written about 200 years ago, and it's called Tom Bowling. And um, it tells the story about, um, well, a very unfortunate story about a number of sailors who unfortunately don't always make it back from sea. Now, it's a beautiful, beautiful tune, um, but the words, unfortunately, very sad, but we'll ignore that bit.
Now our next song is an absolutely beautiful piece of music called Where Corals Lie by Edward Elgar and it's a song from a set of I think five songs by Edward Elgar in a group called Sea Pictures and they're absolutely beautiful. And this one in particular is about where corals lie. So it's talking about the very, very deep of the sea, the lowest you can go. And so it's lovely and slow. And again, it's in a minor key, a bit like sea fever. And you can imagine the deep water and the flowing water and sort of the quietness of it as well. It's a really, really beautiful piece. This is uh, Where Corals Lie by Edward Elgar. Now, if you're of a certain age, or maybe even if you're not, um, you, this next piece needs no introduction. This is from The Little Mermaid, and it's called Under the Sea, which is over 30 years old now. I can't believe it. Thank you. 
and we've come to our final item. But just before I introduce it, I want to just say, of course, as always, a great big thank you to Emma for recording shed loads of parts this week and um, spending all her time doing that and making that happen. That's been amazing. Thank you to Rian, of course, for putting these videos together and sending them out, putting them up on YouTube so that we can watch them. And the biggest thank you of all goes to you guys for tuning in each week, for getting in touch, sending in your requests. And just thank you for um, staying with us during this really difficult time. As always, we've got our fingers firmly crossed that we can meet up again in St David's Hall on level one at 1.30 on a Tuesday for our face-to-face -face session. But hopefully in the meantime, these little videos just kind of keep us going um, until we can meet properly again. But I know it's not the same. and I really hope we can meet face-to-face -face soon. So in the meantime, keep safe. Keep warm. Uh, we've got some flowers poking out in the garden, so hopefully that's a good sign for spring on its way and some warmer weather. But keep safe, keep warm, and I hope you're all doing well. So anyway, our last item, staying with The Little Mermaid, which, as I said, was is over 30 years old now. This is Kiss the Girl. Keep safe and see you soon. See you next week. Thank mm -hmm. you.